particular the Packers over the Titans, among yeah. the underdogs. Um, yes. And if they can keep this game close, Aaron Jones is awesome. Uh, in the divisional round, they basically just made him their bell cow. He played 84% of the snaps. That was his second highest snap rate of the year. It was his highest in the game that Jamal Williams played. 21 carries and two targets in that game. He ran 20 routes, which was second most in the team behind Devontae Adams. And it makes sense because the Packers have been a better team when Aaron Jones has been on the field this year. They've averaged 8.17 yards per pass attempt and 5.67 yards per pass attempt when he's off. So, like, they're a better team when he's out there. He's going to be out there pretty much all the time. Maybe that's why they've been weird and they've been ahead. It's been more Jamal Williams there. I don't know. Uh, but, like, I I have more faith in them covering than I, than I do the Titans. That does not mean I grade Aaron Jones above Derrick Henry. I still grade Derrick Henry above Aaron Jones, but I think they're in the same tier. So what are your thoughts on Aaron Jones? Yeah, I mean, so I alluded to this before, but I'm not the hugest Aaron Jones guy, not from a talent perspective, but I've just always been wary of the workload. And I was I was wary of it last week because Jamal Williams was coming back. But now that we saw Aaron Jones play 84% yeah. of the snaps, like you said, He's not Aaron that, Jones anymore. He's like not that, Aaron. He's he's not a, the, it's a different player. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm very much willing to change my opinion because that's what you should do whenever you have new information. And the 49ers defense is really tough. Uh, they're top eight in uh, adjusted rushing defense based on the number of virus metrics. They're eighth there and they're second against the pass. But if you look at success rate allowed uh, to running backs, they're 18th. So he could kind of maybe get some space. Uh, They might limit big plays, but Aaron Jones could be one of the paths to keeping it close and helping the Packers cover. So uh, Aaron Jones, I'm not saying he's a a priority play necessarily because I like Damian Williams so much and I just don't have high expectations for the offense. But uh, for the price, I don't think that I would hate it if he were my second back because I couldn't get to Derrick Henry. Yeah. Uh, price considered, not considering other pieces in your lineup, would you put Derrick Henry above Aaron Jones, or do you grade Aaron Jones higher? Wait, wait price considered? Yeah. Um, I think realistically, it's still Henry by a tad, but yeah, it's also realistically tough to play Derrick Henry because of what else it does to your lineup. So. Uh, I do put him higher. I think he's the better uh, per dollar play, but that doesn't yeah. mean that I will actually end up with more Derrick Henry than Aaron Jones, even though I would want to. Yeah, I think that's probably the right way to view it, and I'm in there too. Where overall, like if I could choose, I'd pick Derrick Henry, but I might wind up with more Aaron Jones. Um, and again, I think the Packers have, in my mind, better odds of covering. And the Titans, I would expect Derrick Henry's efficiency to be a lot better than Aaron Jones's, but still, um, I would I'd go Aaron Jones or Derrick Henry over Aaron Jones.